Simplify the following expressions. Write all answers without negative exponents. All right, so our main rule for negative exponents is that if we have a base, uh, so if we have x to the negative nth power, we can rewrite that as 1 over the base to the positive power. So here, I have this a to the second, b to the negative third, and we don't want to write this with negative exponents. Well, the a to the second is fine. That b to the negative third is the same as 1 over b to the third. Now, thinking of that a to the second as an a to the second over 1 and multiplying fractions, I would have a to the second over b to the third. And so that's the simplified expression without negative exponents. For exercise b, negative 3 m to the fifth n to the second over m to the fourth n to the eighth. Well, I'm going to simplify this like I did before. I would have a negative 3 that, over 1, so just negative 3, times I'd have an m to the 5 minus 4, and I'd have an n to the 2 minus 8. Subtracting the exponents since I'm dividing numbers with the same base. So that would give me negative 3 m to the first power and n to the negative sixth. Using the same idea as in exercise a, I could rewrite this negative 3 times m times 1 over n to the sixth. And thinking of that negative 3m as being over 1, I can rewrite this whole thing as the fraction negative 3m over n to the sixth. Using a similar idea in exercise C, it's just a little bit more complicated, I would have negative 40 over 6. Well, 40 over 6, I can reduce that by a factor of 2. So I'd have a negative 20 over 3. I would have an x to the 2 minus negative 4. I would have a y to the negative 3 minus 4. And I would have a z to the negative 5 minus negative 2. So that would give me negative 20 thirds. I would have an x to the sixth, a y to the negative seventh, and a z to the negative third. Rewriting things with positive exponents, I'd have negative 20 thirds. I would have an x to the sixth, and I'll think of that x to the sixth as being an x to the sixth over one. I have that y to the negative seventh, so that's one over y to the seventh, and z to the negative third is one over z to the third. So simplifying this and writing it as a single fraction, I would have negative 20x to the sixth over 3y to the seventh z to the third.